The Crimson Tide received their lowest ranking in more than a decade, dropping from number seven down to 15. We have team coverage for you tonight. Austin Pratt traveled to Tuscaloosa to talk to Tide fans about what they think for the rest of the season. But first, let's go to Johnny Congdon. Johnny, this is unusual to say the least for the Tide. Yeah, Megan, these Bama losses are starting to pile up. The Crimson Tide have now dropped two of their last three games, and his first-year head coach, Kalen DeBoer, is starting to realize people in this state don't take too kindly to losing to hated rivals. But you know who loved it? The Volunteer Nation, as for the second time in the last three seasons, Neyland Stadium was sent into a frenzy following their beloved balls knocking off the Crimson Tide, and DeBoer knows, well, something needs to change. These are the speeches I'm not good at, you know, and, um, you know, there's there's inward, you know, uh, that you, you got to look inward first and uh, make sure, you know, that everything you're doing is is right. And then, you know, anyone that you sense that uh, that has any type of questioning, um, you got to make sure you bring them with. And Megan with the loss, Alabama falls to number 15 in the AP poll. The last time they were ranked this low, you got to go all the way back to 2010. If they want to start going in the other direction, well, it all starts with a win against Missouri Saturday inside Bryant-Denny Stadium. But for now, in the sports office, I'm Johnny Kahn in ABC 3340 Sports. Thank you, Johnny. Well, Kalen